The state assembly has now passed a bill that will let the voters decide if the state should borrow $200 million to preserve open spaces and historic sites. But that bill's future is uncertain because the Senate has what appears to be a competing bill. Joining us now from our studio at Brookdale Community College, Assemblyman Declan O'Scanlan. Assemblyman, always good to talk to you. You've been a very strong champion of open spaces. You've also had complimentary things to say about your Democratic colleagues in the Assembly. Are you happy with what happened today? I'm happy with what happened in the Assembly. Uh, rather than go with the competing uh, option in the Senate, which would, quite frankly, wildly, irresponsibly uh, try to, to dedicate $200 million a year or so to open space preservation, a cause, by, by the way, that you just mentioned, uh, that I'm all for. But I am also a big champion of fiscal responsibility and being honest with, with the people of New Jersey. The Senate version is, is neither of those things. Uh, the Assembly version, which would borrow $200 million if the voters give approval for that, uh, would cost us about $15 million a year. We still have to find that money, but it's a, a much more uh, easily attainable goal than finding $200 million in the budget. Well, it's, uh, it's so interesting to me because you've got did. this bill that passed today had a fairly strong bipartisan support. Uh, in the Senate, you don't see that same kind of sense of, of bipartisanship for what you're talking about? Well, some Republicans ha in the Senate have backed the Senate version, again, which would divert $200 million a year to open space preservation. Um, we haven't seen the Senate pick up our version, which is the $200 million bond act, uh, which again would only cost us $15 million a year, not insubstantial, but, but uh, certainly responsible. Um, so we're waiting to see if they will, if the Senate folks will back off. Uh, but if it's going to be a stalemate, that would be, that would be sad. Uh, there is an opportunity here with real estate markets being what they are um, over the next several years to uh, acquire a pretty good amount of open space. I would love to find, by the way, a permanent solution to uh, funding open space um, from uh, the general fund. But they're just, it's just not an option right now in the, in the present uh, economic situation that New Jersey's in. Uh, and we can't inflict that on the taxpayers of New Jersey. We have to be honest with them. And we have to invest where we can uh, and with money that we actually have, not money that will just find magically somewhere in the basement of the State House. Assemblyman, you're close to the governor. Uh, has he given or has the governor's staff given you any guidance or insight as to what their likely opinion would be and perhaps his uh, either uh, commitment to signing or vetoing uh, the bill that passed the Assembly versus the bill that's pending in the Senate? Well, the governor has been firmly committed to fiscal responsibility, uh, so I haven't heard from them directly. But it's really not all that hard to guess since the administration is made up of reasonable, rational people. Uh, if we want to find a permanent, uh, long-term funding solution for open space, the money's got to be there. So I don't think they would sign the Senate version because no one's come up with a way to come up with $200 million. And, and the folks in the Senate like to say it's, it's already collected sales tax, with the implication being that that money is sitting in a pile somewhere being unused. Well, that's not the case. That, that money right now is funding essential things in the budget. Assemblyman, uh, only about 20 seconds left here. What happens if you, the stalemate you referred to a couple of moments ago does occur, and if neither one of these bills is, is passed and signed into law? What happens then? Well, then we, we, we don't have any more money in the open space fund, and we just go without uh, increasing our open space uh, investment until the, the, the gridlock is, is broken. Um, that would be a shame. Assemblyman, we have to leave it there. Always appreciate your being on the program, sir. Thanks, Mike. My pleasure. Anytime. Thanks.